hello, hello, my friends over on Facebook and you guys later on the replays on YouTube and IGTV. I wanted to come in very quickly today and talk to you about the abundance of mindfulness. It's something that is so important and makes things so easy in so many different ways ways. So I'm out in Jackson Hole right now at my vacation house and I've had a few mm, less than mindful experiences that I want to share with you to help you and your business. It's something I've gone over in the past with my own clients as well that I try to do with myself, with my own personal leadership, with my team leadership and it's something that I think could help you. So if you don't know me, I'm Sharon Haver and I help fellow savvy, brilliant entrepreneurs who realize that their expertise is not enough to stand out in a very crowded market. So today, today, and I apologize if I'm a little like, Whoa, but I'm um, using my arm as um, a tripod because for some reason, nothing was working right. Anyway, and I thought this would be easier because I've got to go meet my husband and some friends over for some apres-ski um, snacks, even though I never got to ski today because of this mindfulness issue. So what happens is sometimes when you're working with people, whether it be really on a, someone who's sort of a, um, a smaller employee or somebody who's a bigger employee, or even if you're working with a coach or a business person or a consultant, a lot of times people just sort of slack off on their personal responsibility. It could be anything from a heavily paid consultant to the bus driver who forgets to wait at the stop for the time you're supposed to be there and leaves 10 minutes early so there's no bus. It could be anything from maybe a business coach who is kind of doing it by the motions or a housekeeper who thinks a coffee table belongs in the middle of a living room and not anywhere near a couch, whatever it is. It can happen in so many different ways. But when you get to this point where you're no longer mindful of how you're showing up, it creates a snowball effect to the other people involved. It creates a lot of stress, a lot of tension, a lot of aggravation, and it really depletes your energy, it depletes your focus, and it puts everyone in a pretty crappy state of mind when it's something that could have really been done if you owed the respect to not only yourself, but your respect to your um, client, to your student, to patrons, to, I don't know, people who buy in your store, right? So whatever it is, if you just take that little moment and be more mindful of what you're doing and take a little pause in your actions or your inactions or your avoidances to see where something is amiss. So when it goes back down also in something like this in your photos, in your lives, in your videos, you also need to be able to extend it to another level and be mindful of how you're showing up. Be mindful of being authentic and being real, but also creating a visual storytelling of who you are. Today, my story may be a little bit different than my New York story because obviously I'm out west and I've got my buffalo plaid vest on and you could see my horse behind me on the wall and I'm in a more rustic atmosphere, but I'm still looking like someone who even though I'm in my um, western habitat as opposed to my New York City habitat or wherever I might be traveling, I'm still looking like someone who's got her shizzle together. And it really, you know, boils down to that when you're doing these photos and you're doing these kind of videos that you're not stiff, that you are real and confident and exude your expertise. Because right now, sadly enough, in today's day and age, how you show up in photos, how you show up in videos. And before you could take a video, you need to do photos to make sure the composition is right, to make sure the light is as good as it could get in that particular way, to make sure that you're conveying the right authentic visual storytelling. It all starts with a snap, but what you might not be mindful of or passing aside is what the other person seeing you, the prospective client, the prospective student, 
student, the prospective, you know, consultant person, whatever it is, person who wants to hire you at any level, it's what they see. They see that you didn't wait at the bus stop for the three minutes. They see that you left the coffee table in the middle of the room and the dirty butter in the refrigerator. They see that you didn't show up for a meeting and you're just yes, yes, yesing them on a Skype or a Zoom call because you're not even half there. They see that you're actually charging money and not even being present for what you're doing. So it really is important in every level from something that might seem as trite as, um, a bus to something that might seem really important as a business coach or a consultant that you um, are investing in with yourself, that you are both mindful of what you're bringing to the table and that you're mindful as to how you are being perceived in that way. Sometimes I also call it like third personing for myself. I know when I'm doing videos, I could be super critical of myself, or when I'm doing headshots, I could be super critical of myself. And it's part of my job as an entrepreneur to be able to look at myself in a way that other people see me and perceive me and kind of stay on the game with that. And, you know, it comes with photos, particularly. It comes from my 15 years on the set as a stylist that when I was paid to be on the other side of the camera, how I would be seeing the imagery and what that would mean. So I'm in turn can do it to myself and in turn can import it to my clients and my students. So speaking of that, I invite you right now to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. And at Authentic Superstar right now, it's a five-day photo challenge that would help you amplify your brand image, amplify your photo game, and set you up up to have everything you need to be more confident on camera and in photos that you could create your own brand imagery when you need it with exactly what you have. Like right now, my arm on the back of a chair and my iPhone, whatever you've got at hand. So it really is that easy. So I invite you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. And if you find enjoyment in this and you like the kind of videos I've been doing and taking you on the go with me, don't forget to share it with your friends if you think they would benefit too. And um, if you're watching me on Facebook or even YouTube or whatever you know platform, Instagram, whatever platform you're watching me on, don't forget to hit the live button and to hit the notifications button. I mean, sorry, the follow button and the notification button. Because this way, if you like my page or follow my page, you'll be able to see what's going on. But you know, the algorithm is not always our friend. So if you also turn the notifications on, you'll be able to come on live with me and interact. And that will be like super duper coolio, don't you think? So go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com and be mindful of what you do, how it's being perceived by others and something that you might be overlooking, maybe like not returning a text or a call in, I don't know, 24 hours or 72 hours or not paying attention to what you're supposed to be doing and thinking, eh and blowing it off and sloughing it off. Just be mindful of how that's perceived by others. And it'll just make everybody's day less stressful and better. And you will be able to attract more abundance in what you do because you are setting that out for yourself. So that's it. I'm signing off now from Jackson, Wyoming. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys soon. I'll probably be coming on later. So anyway. See you guys soon. And let me know, like, what are your pet peeves and what do you think you need to be more mindful on and how can you set yourself up? So let me know in the comments. See you later, AuthenticSuperstar.com. Toodaloo.